something worse than what happened to Peter Obi during his mega rally in Edo is about to happen to him once he is declared president after the election rerun. Eight voice out. What is it that is going to happen? Mekuna tell us so. Mekuna tell us so that we will know um, when, where to go and the next line of action. Well, um, Peter Obi, uh, no be today, the young man has been facing a lot of threats, especially um, uh, uh, when he dragged Tunubu to court earlier. Earlier, you know. Now, it's, it's even a little bit, um, the threat is a little bit down now compared to to when he just dragged him to court. <laughs> My people, we could not shout, we could not, we could not just loud them because that is what it is. You understand? That is what it is. Uh, let's quickly check the content and uh, know what really is happening. This is today's news. The Labour Party LP presidential candidates in the 2023 election, Peter Obi, on Monday joined hundreds of people saying that, yes, the time has come for him to take over his mandate. Also in attendance is the former Nigerian Bar Association president, Olumide Akbata, who recently joined the party as well. Nigerian News reported that Peter Obi arrived the ground in jubilation with his vice, Obi Dati. This rounding is for the movement to take over their mandates immediately the election rerun is declared. Peter Obi, who spoke, said that nothing is going to deny them of this move. The court is ready to declare and also to give out what they discover as justice. I am ready for justice. I will fight for justice and I will face justice. Peter Obi, who said this as a short Nigerians of a unique Nigeria, he said, if I eventually succeed, I will make the country unique. Though what is happening right now may not be happening, but we as Nigerians, we need to support as well. He has pleaded that the election around which will be taking place soon should be given a better support. That idea of partisanship should not be taken in because it is what affected us in the first election he won. Well, um, Peter Obi, I've just spoken in his own mind. This reminded me of what um, the Edo, uh, Edo traditional rulers said to uh, the uh, governorship aspirant that was contesting with uh, Obaseki, that is um, Ize Iyamu, when uh, um, Oshomole was trying to, you know, plead to them to be partisan and then um, cast the votes for Ize Yamo, his candidate. It reminded me of what they said to him. They said, look, mister, the two, uh, the two of them are our sons and you cannot convince us or persuade us to be partisan to one. We will vote our conscience. Whoever we cast our vote for should take it. So that's all. So that's the same thing is what I think Peter Obi is trying to say. He's not saying that you should cast all your votes for him, but he's saying that you should vote wisely. If you feel that he is um, the right person, he said you can you are good to vote. 
if you if you if you feel it's not the right person you are good to vote for Tunubu or whatever but he said that this run election is an opportunity for us to be free from our present predicament which is true i'm telling you you take it or leave it that is reality all right um we have come to the end of today's broadcast until we meet again in the evening please um please my people don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section click on the subscription button as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you